And right now, our top story, and thankful to be alive and fighting to walk again. That's what we're hearing from Thomas Villanueva. He's the man hit in the crossfire during a police investigation at the Murray Hill Apartments on Monday where Deputy Micah Flick was killed. Besides, Katie Blaze has his story from Memorial Hospital tonight. I'm just glad that I have my life still. Shot in his back and now facing the possibility of being paralyzed from the waist down. For some reason, I blacked out for like three seconds, didn't, didn't see a thing. And then I turned to my right and I saw these two people and they were, they were fighting over a gun. It's how Thomas Villanueva describes what happened on Monday when he was shot. No warning, nothing like that. I fell. I broke my I chipped my tooth. I didn't know exactly what happened. I couldn't feel my legs. I was just laying there for a while. He remembers walking to his apartment at Murray Hill when he got caught in the crossfire of a police investigation. I feel bad for everybody that got shot. I feel bad for the officer that died too. I wish I wasn't there. I wish they weren't there either, you hear me? The 28-year-old now trying to recover physically and emotionally, getting support from Team USA Olympian Jason Brown and Team USA Paralympian Allison Jones. We really believe in you. Yeah. The 28-year-old now trying to recover physically and emotionally. Just find the silver lining in everything. The story is being written. Yeah, it is. It's not over. Being Weva taking those words to heart. I'm going to I'm going to make it. I'm going to start walking again. I'm going to start walking again. Yeah, I know that. Well, no word yet on if or when Villanueva will be having surgery as he recovers his family and friends. Simply ask the community for continued thoughts and prayers. And, of course, we do have the link to his GoFundMe page on our KOAA News 5 app. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Katie Blaze, News 5. So heartbreaking. We're sending him many thoughts and prayers. Katie, thank you. We